Hey y'all, I am so excited to share with y'all four easy DIYs today. And this video is part of a playlist and I'll tell you a little bit more about that in just a minute. And if you're new here, my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. I live in Texas and it's still in the 90s here, but it's September, so I think it's the perfect time to do some fall crafting. The first craft I have for you today is something both easy and quick, so let's get to it. I have three cubes that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just giving them a quick coat of paint. And I have two pieces of craft paper that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm just gonna measure them and cut them down a bit smaller than the size of the cube. Supervisor Captain is now on duty, and he's just watching me give one side of the cube a coat of Mod Podge. And I'm placing one of the pieces of paper on the cube, and as you can see, it is smaller than the cube. I carefully apply some Mod Podge to the top. And I guess Captain thought I was doing a good enough job because he left. And I'm just doing the same to the second cube, applying Mod Podge, applying the craft paper, and applying another coat of Mod Podge. And now it's time to distress these pumpkins just a bit. I'm using my distressing ink and a little sponge dauber that I got from Hobby Lobby to add some color. And I also have my laptop out, <laughs> laptop out because I'm listening to a Zoom call, multitasking. And I'm using twigs from a tree as my stems and I'm just gluing them to the center of the top of the cubes. And of course I'm using that hula skirt raffia that to add some embellishments to the top of the pumpkin. And I don't know, have I convinced you to buy one yet? Because these are so easy to work with and you get so much for only a dollar. And I love how these turned out. They look great as a trio or even just as standalone pumpkins. I am part of a super cool playlist, y'all. There are eight of us in total and these ladies really are awesome DIY YouTubers. I'm gonna link their channels below, so please be sure and check them out, and check out our awesome playlist as well after you finish watching my video. But I wanted to give you guys a closer glimpse of each of the creators. We have DIY from House to Home, Teresa B DIY, Artsy Maddie, DIYs at the Schwann's Nest, Marika Creations, Rustic and Lace DIY, and Broke Girl Aesthetic. All right, y'all, let's make some more pumpkins. We're starting off project number two by painting this little mini palette with Waverly Wax in the color Antique. For the second palette, I'm gonna be using Anita's Acrylic Craft Paint. I'm thinking I'm using the color Pumpkin. No, I'm using Terracotta. And for the third pumpkin, I'm using Rust-Oleum's Chalked Ultra Matte Paint in the color Linen. And for all of the palettes, I'm trying to paint in the grooves as well. Kind of tricky though. I found these cute wood words at Dollar Tree and I'm painting the one that says give thanks with the linen paint as well. And although you can't see it well right now, I'm adding little stitches around the word with fine point Sharpie marker. Now I'm gluing the palettes together with hot glue. I see that the white one needs maybe a little bit of distressing, so I do that. And then I add the words to the front. To finish this off, I added some Spanish moss and some hula skirt raffia as an embellishment. I think it turned out pretty cute and I'm glad I did the little stitching outline to the words, give thanks, because I think it helped them stand out just a bit more. I have seen the thankful and the grateful signs at Dollar Tree, but didn't think much of them because the words are not separate from the frame. They're like together. So I thought it'd be too much trouble to kind of separate those. And then I saw Sarah from GGB DIY, her videos linked below, and she created a cute pumpkin and I thought I have to recreate that. So I thought it was so cute. And luckily I found one of the signs at my local store. I separated the sign and then took off the paper that was on there and I had some craft paper from Hobby Lobby and I cut out a piece to fit. I just used a glue stick and I glued the craft paper onto the sign and I spray painted this white as a base coat and then I painted it with Anita's all-purpose craft paint in the color pumpkin. But after it was done, it felt like it was a bit too bright. And so I went back over it with Anita's all-purpose craft paint in the color terracotta. And I gave it another coat. I'm adding hot glue to attach the front and back of the sign together. 
and Socks is helping me finish this one out. And this is how it turned out. I outlined the word thankful with a brown mark, um, paint pen because I thought it was blending in with the sign too much. But I love how it turned out and I love that it's a taller sign so that I can layer it with other signs on my mantle. I started off by painting this scrap piece of wood with Waverly Wax in the color Antique and then I wiped off the excess. Now this is the part where we got on the struggle bus. I wasn't entirely sure how to attach the wire pumpkin wreath forms to the block of wood, which is gonna be the base of the centerpiece that I'm making. And so I first tried hot glue and that didn't work. So I ended up using zip ties to attach it. But y'all, the struggle was real. <laughs> After I got it attached, it was not super stable. So I probably needed to attach a larger piece of wood to the bottom, but so far it's working out fine. Next, I put down a layer of those fall leaves that I got from Dollar Tree. And then I hot glued down some green floral foam. This next part is what I call fill the middle with a lot of flowers because that's what I did. I'm sure that there's a better way to do it, but I was just filling it until it looked full to me. I added, some green, I added some green leaves to the stem and then I wrapped the stem with some brown burlap that I got from Dollar Tree. And y'all, I think it turned out pretty cute. I'm thinking of either adding like a small pillar candle in the middle or maybe adding some twinkle lights. I don't know. What do you guys think? You let me know in the comments below. Thank y'all so much for watching my video today. I really had a lot of fun sharing with you guys the crafts that I made, and I hope you enjoyed them too. Also, um, don't forget, there is a playlist linked in the description box below, and I really do hope you check it out because I had so much fun connecting and collaborating with these other DIY YouTubers. It's a lot of fun. And don't forget, if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Great House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.